poacher turned gatekeeper turned head of controlled opposition. In his teens and early twenties he was a member of many left-wing anti-capitalist student, war and animal rights, Marxist and socialist protest groups. When he rose through the ranks becoming a barrister, a bencher, a QC, director of prosecutions and then head of the Crown Prosecution Service, he had become the UK's number one specialist in PSYOPs, activism, infiltration of extremist groups. In 2013, he worked to set up one of the largest undercover infiltration operations on political campaigners and activists in the history of the UK's police. Non-affiliated members of the public were stalked, arrested, wrongful convictions, manipulated into relationships and sex to gain knowledge. Starmer was one of the only people who had the evidence with the power to deliver the justice and he didn't. Most of the evidence vanished. False accounts and evidence was given in court cases. No convictions of the agents for the help of the victims. As head of the CPS he also altered guidelines so those wrongfully claiming benefits can be charged with fraud which carries a maximum of 10 years. Emily Formbury pushed for it to be changed to 14. He then led and then dropped both police killings of Ian Tomlinson and Jean-Charles de Mendes based on not enough evidence. He was also a main QC and barrister in the evidence surrounding Jimmy Savile, Sir Keir of the Realm.